For days, people have been coming here to the roundabout and pray there to drop off donations for firefighters and other first responders who have been helping. As you can see, they've got plenty of water. They tell me they don't need any more water or Gatorade donations, but people have also been leaving things like toothpaste and deodorant for the crews to say thanks. In times of trouble, people want to help. Seeing this happening, I'm just like, it's a downer on my family, you know? And I'm just like, thinking about it, like that could be my brother at one point. So that's why we brought it. The Fresno County Sheriff's Office says donations can be dropped off for first responders on the Creek Fire along the curb near the Prather Roundabout. They already have plenty of water and Gatorade. It's very uplifting when you see the amount of cooperation and generosity. La Quinta Inn and Suites in Clovis has been housing close to 50 evacuees. Parth Patel's family has offered its meeting room to accept donations. We've tried to do whatever we can to make this transition easier for people. Patel wants other evacuees to know they can stop by the hotel to pick up supplies too. The Red Cross is not accepting any goods at its centers at Clovis North High School and the Mariposa Fairgrounds. It can help arrange hotel housing, connect families with social workers, and it even has a health services team for those who may have left behind their prescriptions in the scramble to leave. Across the street, Clovis Hills Community Church is accepting donations too. It's asking for tall wool socks for first responders. Socks, undershirts, underwear, diapers, and wipes, along with Walmart gift cards for evacuees. There are also these containers for donations of gently used clothing. We didn't even get a warning. We just got our mandatory evacuation. April Rodriguez brought her dog to the Valley Animal Center. We are currently at 25 dogs and 23 cats in our care right now. And the center still has room for twice as many more cats and dogs. It needs donations of dry dog and cat food, bedding and blankets, crates, litter boxes, and other goods. It could also use volunteers. Liz Gonzalez, Fox 26, your hometown news connection.